In this quick video guide, we are going to see how we can export from Cinema 4D and import into Blender. Now, this is a Cinema 4D scene where I've created many objects using different types of generators and modulars that you have here in uh, Cinema 4D to create copies or create landscape or architecture. And actually, the architecture is the only one which is actually polygonal mod model. So a real mesh. All the others here are generated with the use of the Cinema 4D tools and also with the use of the uh, relief tool using an image and extruding the pixels of the image. And if you are interested in Cinema 4D, you can check our Cinema 4D video course in the channel. And so I'm going to convert some of these into polygonal modeling. So you can right click and say make editable. You can do that from the objects panel or you can do it directly selecting the object into the scene, right click and make editable. Now, if you make it editable, that's gonna be converted into actual polygons and it's not gonna be a generated shape anymore. Now we're gonna go to ex export and select the formats that we can use to export in Blender. And usually I use the FBX, this is probably the best, but I always do some tests if everything goes okay. Now geometry here, you can select if you want subdivision surface or normals, if you want to triangulate, which means that you're gonna go convert the polygons in tri triangles, which are st still uh, polygons, but they are a little bit different. Now, it depends what you need to do in Blender, of course. So in this case, I'm gonna do the triangulate option and, okay, now let's uh, export. And we will also see how the other uh, subdivision surfaces are gonna behave. And we see what we will find in Blender. So uh, we can also export animation and lights, materials. You can decide what you want to, well, try to export. And also if you want to export only the selection or if you want to export the whole scene. And again, here we can activate lights and instances objects and so on. Usually FBX does a conversion for you, so it's gonna take the objects and it's gonna try to convert them into real polygons. And also here we have some instances and arrays. So hopefully they're gonna be converted and generated with the other models in Blender. So let's, let's try here to also let's fix the up axis. So the upper axis is going to be the Z in other software, but here it's in the Epsilon. So let's set this to Epsilon because in Cinema 4D, this is the, it's the Epsilon axis. So be careful that that's going to be set up like that and let's save it. Now, don't worry because if you have objects that are not in the correct axis, you can rotate them later. Now we're going to export the FBX and we're gonna see what's gonna happen here in Blender. So I will delete the, the cube there, the standard cube that you find in Blender. And you can download any stand Blender for free. You can find old video guides in our channel as well about Blender and similar, also other software. So here we'll go in the file import FBX, because this is the, the one that we exported. And we're gonna go into the folder where we saved it. And there we go. So this is, I call these generators because I want to see if Blender is capable of understanding or FBX is capable of exporting also the generators. And there you go, yes. So you can see here that we have everything. We have also other geometries that I think that, that were hidden in the previous scene. So you can see we have lathe modifier, we have extrusion, we have sweeps, we have arrays, 
all sorts of things that we can create in uh, Cinema 4D. We also have there some lights and some cameras. So I think we can successfully export everything from Cinema 4D into Blender. So it's a really good import uh, and export or export import uh, process. And here we can set the wireframe so we can see if we're actually working on standard polygons or triangles. And if you zoom in, you can see here that pretty much everything has been converted into polygonal objects or meshes, and in particular with the triangulate option. So you can also deactivate that if you don't like it. So this will be all for this video guide. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please support us by joining the channel and you can also simply subscribe. You can write your comments, which could be questions or suggestions for other users. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.